Why is Salt Bay's billion dollar empire collapsing? Most internet memes are fleeting and short-lived. They come and go, leaving behind a trail of digital dust that swiftly fades into obscurity. But every once in a while, a meme transcends the digital realm and evolves into something extraordinary, a living meme. Salt Bay is one of them. Remember that video of a guy sprinkling salt on a succulent Turkish steak in the most over-the-top way possible? Yep, that guy, Salt Bay. Since this video was shared on Instagram in 2017, his signature salt sprinkle has inspired countless memes, parodies, and tattoos. Salt Bay successfully transformed his meme status into a global billion-dollar business empire. He's got restaurants all over the world, his own line of cookware products, and even his own cryptocurrency. But over the past year, Salt Bay has been trending on the internet for all the wrong reasons, and there are rumors on the internet that his billion-dollar business empire is crashing down. He's been accused of everything from overcharging customers to mistreating his employees. All of these accusations started coming up when he was caught on live TV snatching the World Cup trophy from a baby. Gone with the sprinkle. At the 2022 Football World Cup, Salt Bay was caught on live TV rudely pestering none other than the legendary Lionel Messi for a photo. Messi was busy celebrating his victory with his family. Next, Salt Bay was seen snatching the World Cup trophy from a baby. I'm not kidding. He literally just walked up to a player who was celebrating with his baby and took the trophy out of its hands. The baby looked visibly confused and scared. But Salt Bay didn't care. He just smiled and posed for a photo with the trophy and walked on. Finally, Salt Bay took a bite out of one of the winner's medals. Nobody knows why he did it. Maybe he thought he was a world champion. Or maybe the viral chef slash butcher was just hungry. But whatever the reason, it was a disrespectful act seen by billions on live TV. What followed was a barrage of criticism and trolling from fans online. People accuse Salt Bay of being arrogant, disrespectful, and self-centered. Some people have even called for him to be permanently banned from sporting events. Since this global-scale PR disaster, many of his previous controversies also have come to light. He's been accused of everything from overcharging customers to mistreating and overworking his employees to racking up countless health code violations during the pandemic. He still has over 50 million followers on Instagram, but never before has he been so widely mocked and criticized on social media. His restaurants across the world have also faced scrutiny, racking up negative reviews and complaints about absurdly high prices and low quality food. In this video, we will examine all of the controversies that have tarnished Salt Bay's reputation and severely damaged his billion dollar business empire. So. Strap in, grab your aprons, because we're about to carve into the controversial life of the world's most memed butcher. Humble Origins Nusret Goce was born into a humble Kurdish family in Azurum, Turkey in 1983. His early life was marked by poverty and hardship. His family struggled to make ends meet, and he often had to work long hours in his father's butcher shop to help support the family trade. But... Kurdish culture has a rich culinary tradition, and it was this early exposure to the rich Kurdish cuisine that made young Nusret fall in love with cooking. In 2007, Nusret began traveling the world, working in various kitchens to gain experience. He learned from some of the best chefs in the business and honed his culinary skills. In 2010, he returned to Istanbul and opened his first restaurant, Nusret Steakhouse. Nusret Steakhouse was far from an instant success, but gradually, Nusret's innovative presentation style started attracting more and more curious diners. Over the next 10 years, his restaurant would become a hot spot for local celebrities and social media influencers. Meme Life But, on January 7, 2017, Nusret's life changed forever and Salt Bay was born. He posted a video on Instagram of himself slicing and salting a steak in his signature flair. The video quickly went viral, gathering over 10 million views in just a few days. 
He became an instant internet meme, and social media users dubbed the charismatic chef Salt Bay. The original salt sprinkling video has been viewed over 100 million times on Instagram, and it has served as the bedrock for Salt Bay's global brand. That's because, unlike most viral sensations, Salt Bay capitalized on his meme status by opening new restaurants around the world and by launching a line of merchandise. He even trademarked his signature salt sprinkling move. Salt Bay's efforts to milk the situation were successful. However, this newfound fame brought out a different side of Salt Bay that was characterized by narcissism and a severe lack of self-awareness. Controversies begin. Not even a year after going viral, Salt Bay posted a photo on Instagram of himself with the late Cuban dictator Fidel Castro. The photo caused a firestorm of outrage as many saw it as a Salt Bay inadvertently endorsing Castro's regime. Castro was a controversial figure who ruled Cuba with an iron fist for 40 years. His regime was responsible for human rights abuses, political repression, and economic stagnation. Salt Bay's photo with Castro was seen by many of his Cuban origin followers as a tacit endorsement of these crimes. Salt Bay later issued an apology stating that he never intended to endorse Castro's regime and merely wanted a picture with a famous figure. However, the things he said in his apology didn't reflect in his future actions. In 2018, Salt Bay faced a similar controversy when he hosted a lavish feast for Nicolas Maduro, the president of Venezuela. At the time, Venezuela was grappling with a severe economic crisis with millions of people living in poverty and facing food shortages. Many people were outraged that Salt Bay would serve such a feast while the country's citizens were suffering. Again, Salt Bay's decision to host Maduro was seen as a tacit endorsement of his authoritarian regime. Salt Bay defended his decision, claiming that he was simply providing a service to a paying customer. However, many people felt that this was a nothing apology that sent a message that he is more interested in money than in ethics or human rights. Salt Bay's ethical failings that year didn't end there. In 2018, a fire show at his Istanbul restaurant went disastrously wrong, injuring four tourists. One of the tourists, a Czechoslovakian YouTuber named Tynas Tresnokova, suffered burns to more than 35% of her body. Tresnokova spent several weeks in the hospital recovering from her burns and sharing her agony with her followers. Salt Bay apologized for the incident and claimed to be cooperating with authorities in the investigation. However, many people were outraged that such a risky, over-the-top presentation was permitted in the crowded restaurant. Salt Bay's restaurant has also been accused of violating food safety standards. Lawsuits In 2019, Turkish authorities found that the restaurant was using expired meat and serving food that was contaminated with bacteria. That same year, four former employees of Salt Bay's London restaurant filed a wrongful termination lawsuit against him. The employees alleged that Salt Bay had a dictatorial attitude. They were forced to work long hours without overtime pay, and they were subjected to verbal abuse. He was also allegedly taking large portions of their tips and had fired them when they complained. Salt Bay vehemently denied the allegations and the outcome of the lawsuit has not been made public as of yet. However, it brought significant attention to the dodgy labor practices at Salt Bay's restaurants. The world was now aware that Salt Bay was not the compassionate and generous employer that he portrayed himself to be. But, customers at Salt Bay's restaurants have always been privy to his greedy nature. He's been accused of overcharging customers on numerous occasions. In one instance, a customer at Salt Bay's Miami restaurant was slapped with a bill of $44 for four Red Bulls. A can of Red Bull in Miami typically costs around $3, and this disgruntled patron was overcharged by a staggering $34. That's not all. There are several instances of Salt Bay's alleged overcharging that'll make your jaw drop, not with hunger, but with disgust. Over in New York City, another diner got the shock of their life when they forked out $315 for a tomahawk steak. The same cut of meat can be savored at other restaurants for a much more reasonable $100. Ouch! Across the pond in Salt Bay's London establishment, one unsuspecting customer was once billed a jaw-dropping 
122 pounds and 31 cents for their meal, which included opulent 24 karat gold encrusted steaks and bottles of champagne. The catch? Well, the customer claimed that the menu didn't clearly display these extravagant prices, adding a dash of controversy to the culinary experience. And not to be left behind, Salt Bay's Dubai branch has served up courses of financial disputes. One diner was left with a AED $6,135.26 bill for a meal that included more gold-encrusted steaks and wine. The problem? You guessed it customer insisted that the menu's prices didn't quite match the financial reality. These incidents have sparked outrage and ridicule online, with many people accusing him of running a scam. Fall of an internet giant. These sentiments are reflected in the online reviews of Salt Bay's restaurants. Nursrit at Steakhouse, Salt Bay's London restaurant, is ranked 15,200 out of 15,700 restaurants on TripAdvisor with a rating of 2.5 stars. This means that it is worse than 96.8% of all other restaurants in the city. Many of Salt Bay's other restaurants across the globe also have deteriorating reviews. The World Cup controversy in December 2022 was the nail in the coffin for Salt Bay in terms of his public perception. He went from being a beloved internet sensation to a figure of scorn and ridicule. It led to Salt Bay's once rocketing social media following slowing down significantly. He's now gaining approximately 300,000 new followers on Instagram per month, the lowest growth rate since his initial meteoric rise in January 2017. A few months after the World Cup incident, his New York burger restaurant, Salt Bay Burger, was closed down. The restaurant was notorious for its high prices, mediocre food, and poor reviews. However, the closure was likely due in part to the damage to Salt Bay's reputation from his controversies. Conclusion? So, what's next for Salt Bay? Maybe he'll start a new line of cheaper gold-encrusted salt shakers. Or maybe he'll just go back to being a regular chef. But one thing is for sure. His days as an adored internet sensation are now over. Plus, the restaurant industry is tough as it is. Even in the best of times, it's hard to make a profit. But right now, things are especially tough. Inflation is at a 40-year high, and people are spending less money on eating out. There's also a shortage of capable workers in most major cities, which is making it hard for restaurants to operate at full capacity. So, even if Salt Bay didn't have all of these controversies, his billion-dollar ambitions would still be facing some major challenges. But these controversies have definitely made things much worse than Salt Bay could have ever imagined. Do you think Salt Bay can bounce back from his recent disasters, or do you think his time is up? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos just like this.